Hi everyone, Sarah here from the YA Room and today I'm going to be talking all about bookish crushes. I'm sure most of you will have had a crush on a book character at some point and personally I've had loads but realistically some of the people that I have a crush on wouldn't be very good people to date. Like I love Draco Malfoy but I can't really imagine being in a relationship with him. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 most eligible boyfriends and girlfriends from books. The first one here is Monty from The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. Oh my god, this book guys, it's just like chocolate melting in your mouth. That's how good it feels to read it. It's just like so sweet and adorable and I loved every single page of it. Monty is an absolute sweetheart. Like, he gets on my nerves sometimes and he does some pretty stupid stuff, but really he has a heart of gold and he's just like so beautiful and pure and I just love him so much. Monty definitely isn't perfect, he definitely has his vices, but he also has his virtues. He is kind and brave and willing to do anything for the people he loves and I think that he would make a pretty good book boyfriend. The second book character I wouldn't mind being in a relationship with is Francis from Radio Silence. Radio Silence is one of my all-time favourite books. It is just phenomenal and it is so entirely me in a book. There's talk of school and studying and university and what it means to, you know, finish high school and be thinking about university or what you're going to be doing next. But this is also a book about podcasts and love and family and it's just so, so good. Frances is a self-proclaimed study machine and she is trying to work towards her goal of studying literature in university. But there's so much more to her than that. She's weird and that's what I love most about her. She's amazing at creating art from her favourite podcast, University, and she has amazing fashion sense and I just, I love her so much. I would definitely not say no if she were to ask me out. My next eligible partner is Rishi from When Dimple Met Rishi. If you're looking for a fun book, this is the book for you. It's such a fun, glorious read and it's so gorgeous and the characters are just like adorable munchkins and I just want to hug them. They're so cute. This is a book about marriage and traditions and friendship and family and studying and Starbucks and it's just so, so good. Rishi is an absolute sweetheart. He has a heart of gold and he's so nerdy and adorable and I just... Ah! Oh, please, please ask me out, Rishi. That's all I want. Next up, if you know me at all, you would have seen this one coming from a mile off. And that is Lila from A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. V.E. Schwab is my favourite author. She is incredible and I love her work so much and I love the characters she creates. Seriously, this series is full of people that I could date. I mean, I could date Lila and Kel and Alucard and Rai and like, all of them, maybe even Holland. I don't care, I'm not that fussy. All of these characters are just so vibrant and like amazing and I just want to hug them. Oh. But obviously Lila takes the cake. She's a pirate and a thief and she's so badass and sassy and I love her so much. She doesn't stop until she gets what she wants and I love that quality about her. But at the same time she's really really kind and caring and she will always protect those that she cares about. And plus she'd be pretty good to have on my side in a fight. So yeah, I would be pretty happy to be Lila's girlfriend. And finally we have Mark from Lord of Shadows The Lady Midnight series by Cassandra Clare. I didn't really see as much as I would have liked of Mark in Lady Midnight but thankfully in Lord of Shadows he had a much bigger role. He's half fairy so that naturally makes him like super attractive. But there's also a naivety about him that was really adorable and attractive. He's such a caring big brother to his siblings and while he doesn't always say the right thing 100% of the time, he's such a kind human and I just want to hug him. I loved reading about his various romances in the book but I would love it even more if that was with me. So yeah, if Cassandra Clare wanted to write me into her book and have me date Mark, I would not be opposed. So yeah, those are the top 5 people that I would love to date from books. They're all adorable munchkins and I want to hug them and they're just so pure and so, so sweet. I fell head over heels for them in all of these books and if you're looking for something to read with swoon-worthy characters, then you should definitely check these ones out. So yeah, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Who are your top 5 bookish crushes? Do you have a crush on any of the characters that I've mentioned? Let's chat down below. Bye everyone!